Good evening and welcome to City Air. My name is Kristen Strobe. And my name is Julian Castro and we're proud core members here at City Air Chicago. You are watching a live interactive call-in television program brought to you on CAN-TV 21. During the next 25 minutes, we invite you to call in with your questions at 312-738-1060. City Air is a nonprofit organization that unites young people of diverse backgrounds for a year, or a year of full-time service giving them the skills and opportunities to change the world. City Air focuses on building the graduation pipeline by getting students on track to graduate. City Air deploys diverse teams of eight to 10 individuals who provide assistance in attendance, behavior, and course performance for sixth to ninth grade students. We also engage in community, we also engage community members in service projects to beautify schools and communities throughout the city, including landscaping and painting. For more information about City Year and the service we provide Chicago and information on how to get involved, please visit us on the web at www.cityyear.org slash Chicago. There are a lot of different ways to get involved, whether you're interested in serving with us for a day or joining the Corps for a whole year. All the information you need can be found at our website. Well, Julian has taken over the phone lines. So please call the number at the bottom of your screen if you have any questions about City Year or any questions for our guests. For tonight's episode, our first guest is Mr. Robert Reed, a core member serving at Manly Career Academy High School in the North Lawndale community. Welcome, Rob. Thank you, Chris, and thanks for having me. Sure. So Rob, first let's hear a little bit about yourself. Um, where are you from? What were you doing before City Year? Well, um, I'm a Chicago native, born and raised on the south side. Uh, and I moved, I've been there all my life, moved there throughout most of the communities we serve in. And before my transition to city year, I was uh, finishing up my degree in psychology at the University of Illinois in Champaign. Great, and how did you hear about city year? Um, I'm a Posse alum, and we have a very, very amazing networking organization. So I heard about it through that venue. And also, it just so happened, and I seen commercials on, on TV down in Champaign, and there's not even a site in Champaign. So I figured it was good, it was worth uh, the research. Well, I'll have to let our marketing team know that those City Year commercials are working. Um, so, Robert, what made you want to take part in the National Service Movement? Um, I decided to take part in the National Service Movement because service to community and other people has always been a passion of mine. Um, I lean towards City Year in particular because um, I, am, I am from the south side of Chicago and I realize the deficit in edu uh, edu education and the resources. So. I figure I could use my direct impact to help that problem. Great. So Rob, let's hear um, an average day yeah. at Manly. Let's hear about it. Uh, tell us what, it, what a day looks like for a core member working in a high school. Okay. Okay, I think it's safe to say that core member experiences differ in between high school and um, elementary schools. Um, it's, it's a totally different crowd, but as it, as it pertains to Manly, I would say um, we do Mm, we do our morning greeting, though. everybody does. We do the morning greeting, we do in-class support with the teachers, we do behavior lunches, we do after-school program, and that's what I do in particular. I'm an after-school coordinator, um, and right, right now I'm doing track team. So. Track team? Yeah. Awesome. Are you doing the boys and girls track team? Boys and girls. It's a joint team. And are you co-leading that with another? Yeah, so co-leading with my... Uh, co-after school coordinator, uh, Alice Ely. Awesome, great. So, uh, Rob, this is uh, the first year, first city year, Chicago at Manly. Um, how have you seen the school ch school climate change since city year started back in October? I would say, I can speak for the my whole Manly team when I when I say that we have definitely made impact impacts individually, but we are, as this is the first year partner, there's been a lot of adapting um, in be on the part of the students, the core members, and the administration. But I'd say we, we're working together, and now that they realize we're there to help them, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been a lot better. Great, great. Um, so what was the initial response from students? I know you said that, you know, now that they've realized that you guys are there to help, it's a lot better. But tell us a little bit about what it was like at first when you started. Um, it was rough. And then on the same hand, it was pretty good because we had we had freshmen that had either been a part of the Young Heroes program or had experienced city year through uh, their elementary school. So on that on that 
on that surface, it was pretty good. And then on the other hand, we had people who never knew what we were there for and didn't understand that we were there to help them. So we faced resentment. resentment. Yeah. Um, did you ever notice that maybe the people who did participate, the students who did participate in City Year or had City Year at their school before, um, did you ever see them sort of, um, you know, talk to the newer students about City Year, what their experiences were like? They told that all they could say to them is that we were good and we were there to help them, but, you know, yeah. it takes a student to actually realize and have that, that face time. Sure, sure. Okay, so Rob, uh, give us some examples of some events that the Manly team has created and implemented in their time at at, um, at Manly so far. Okay, well, we, we do our VIP lounges, we do our tennis rallies, but in mm -hmm. particular, our VIP lounges have been uh, based on the theme of the winter frost, because our first one was during December. Then we had another one, we uh, themed it around sports, and so we called it the MVP lounge instead of the VIP lounge. And our most recent one was during Black History Month this past February, so we named it the Apollo. Um, oh. Also, we did our, our tennis rally was at the beginning of the year, and we just challenged students to come to school and students with perfect attendance will be entered in a raffle for a chance to win a free laptop at the end of school. That's awesome. Wow. Sounds like some good stuff going on, <laughs> going on at Manly. So Rob, what do you um, envision the legacy of this year's City Year team uh, being at Manly, especially since it's the first year and that it's, it's a really important year for you guys? The legacy I believe we are, we are leaving behind is we're a group of people that gets, get things done through all the speed humps, through all the road bumps, um, this, like I said, this is a first year partnership, so we, we, we get things done. And, and I say we get things done because I've actually heard my team and myself on a few occasions literally say that, you know, this team gets things, get things done. So. Great. So Rob, um, what's your future looking like? What are your plans after city year? Have to be transparent when I say I'm, <laughs> I'm still I'm still in the search, but I do know that I want to attain my master's in either public administration or administration of criminal justice sooner rather than later. But in the meantime, I'm looking for anything right now. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm corresponding with employers in various fields, mm -hmm. but where I ultimately want to end up is in the social services or government sector. Great, and I think that you are in the same boat as a lot of our. <laughs> Fellow City Year Corps members, uh, hopefully going out after this year and making it, still making a difference in the communities that they live and work in. Uh, well, we're almost out of time, and um, we need to give you the boot, but we have our boot. Julian, do you mind helping us out? We left our boot over there. Julian, our, our trusty call-in tech, is going to help us out. There it is, coming in. There it is. <laughs> so, um, as... As you know, and maybe some of our viewers know, is that uh, City Year Corps members wear Timberland boots while they serve. Um, so our boot is filled with questions. So before you leave us this evening, please go ahead, take one and answer it for us. I'd love to. There's lots of fun, fun stuff in there. Can I peek? No, that would be cheating. Mm -mm. Would you rather paint a mural or a landscape or a vacant lot? Okay, all right. So referencing, referencing our, our service days that we do, we do a lot of painting and a lot of landscaping. Since I'm, I'm, I'm very creative, I would have to go with a mural. Um, yeah. it's, it's, it's sustainable. Whereas I, I feel a landscape in a vacant lot is uh, transformative. Mm -hmm. A mural is transformative and sustainable and it'll probably be there for a long time to come. True, very good. I, I do love painting a good mural from time to time. Well, Rob, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join us this evening. Thanks again for having great me. Great host, or a great guest, uh, and a great host. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take a short break, and after that we will continue with City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. I am change. I am change. People say that we have nothing in common. We don't look the same, talk the same. Or come from the same place. But this, this isn't about who we are. It's about what we can do. Together. Because, because we, we are change. And together, we are unstoppable. Hi, welcome back. Uh, with, I'm, here, I'm Kristen Strovey with City of Chicago. Uh, remember the phone lines are open and we invite you to call in with your questions 
at 312-738-1060. It's that number right at the bottom of your screen. Um, Julian, our call in tech, he's waiting for some phone calls. He's ready to go. So please call in. Uh, so joining us now is Alicia Ranadive. She is a core member serving on the Northern Trust team at the Sherman School of Excellence in the Back of the Yards community. A uh, little sidebar, I served at Sherman last year, so I do, I just love the team, love the school, so glad she's here. Um, Alicia is also the attendance coordinator on her team, and she's here to tell us more about that position. So welcome, Alicia, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me, I'm really excited. Good. So, Alicia, can you um, first tell us a little bit about yourself and sure. how you came to City Year? Yeah, um, so my name is Alicia. I was born in California, but I moved to India. I actually grew up in India, lived there for a long time, uh, went to high school, and then in India, moved back here for college where I went to Brown. I loved it, it was fabulous. And now here I am in Chicago. Excellent. So, how did you hear about City Year and what brought you here? Uh, when I was in college, I did a whole, you know, I really liked tutoring and working with kids, and I knew that when I finished college, I wanted to spend at least some time doing a service year. So I went onto my college's career website, and City Year was the first entry under service, and I clicked <laughs> on the link and never looked back. It was a perfect fit, and I'm really glad I picked it. Well, good. We're glad that you chose us. Um, so, Alicia, let's um, talk a little bit about your service. Mm -hmm. So what kind of class are you supporting, and, and what do you do? during an average class? Sure. So I'm in a 7th and 8th grade science classroom, and what I do can vary uh, a lot from every mm -hmm. day. So being science, we have a lot of conceptual stuff that we're doing, and I have a lot of creativity and freedom in the classroom to do what I want. I have mm -hmm. a focus list of about five kids in one class and six in the other. In a typical class day, I might be in the room. We do a lot of um, go through the book, or I'll pull kids out, and we'll work on small experiments or demonstrations mm -hmm. in the classroom, and it can be pretty fun. Awesome. So. Sounds very fun. Yeah. Um, so remember that our phone lines are open. Uh, again, if you have any questions either for Alicia or for myself or just about City or in general, uh, please give us a call at 312-738-1060. So Alicia, what is, I guess, the favorite thing, of, your favorite thing about um, providing in-class support? My favorite thing is probably, um, you know, I'm a science nerd and I get to share my favorite subject with my kids. Mm -hmm. So my favorite part of it is um, when kids really connect with the subject material, sort of have their own aha moment and mm -hmm. realize that, you know what, science might not be so boring after all. Uh, one of my kids is working with um, batteries and wires light right uh -huh. now to connect them to use just a piece of foil to make a light bulb light. And he, when he figured out he could do it, it was incredible. And those moments are my favorite part. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. those are great moments Alicia. to have. And I do, I remember yeah. I remember the, the battery experiment. Those, that was pretty fun. Right. That was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so as mentioned earlier, you are the attendance coordinator for the Sherman team. So can you um, give our audience kind of a quick overview of the position? Sure. So the attendance coordinator position involves a few different things. We have a lot of different incentives and approaches that we're working on right now. Our, one of our biggest parts is we I coordinate the morning greeting, so on this morning programming when kids come to school. Mm -hmm. And what we've been doing for most of the year is just a three-on-three -on -three basketball tournaments for the kids and taking a little bit of a backseat because we're doing ISA stuff right now. But the morning greeting is a huge part. Yeah. We also work on... Um, uh, we have a perfect attendance challenge for the end of the year, and periodically um, we will uh, reward kids who have so far made it with perfect attendance from the beginning of the year to now. Mm -hmm. And we also work on, uh, just like Robert talked about, we have a VIP lounge where we recognize our students who have perfect attendance on a monthly basis. Yeah. And I have been to a couple of those VIP lounges. Uh, where does the inspiration for those VIP lounges come from, by well, the way? Those I'm are awesome. I'm glad you think they're awesome. We have a really creative team, and when we get to brainstorming, we just come up with fantastic ideas. Mm -hmm. We really like food, and that's where our lounge concept came from. This year, we're going to do an around-the-world theme. So for each lounge, we take our students to a different country. Mm -hmm. So far, we've done Italy and China, and our next stop is going to be a spring break in the Caribbean. So Ooh, stay tuned. I'll have to come back for that one. Yeah. Um, I think we have a caller. Yeah? Hello, caller. What's your question? Yeah. So, what makes, like, City Year core members, like, what helps them, like, build, like, relationships with students? It seems like you're only there for a year. Is mm -hmm. it, like, how do you do it? How do you help students get on track to graduate? Okay, that's a good question. Alicia, yeah. being in a school, do you feel comfortable answering that yeah, question? Yeah, that's a really great question, and something that I was worried about when I first started, especially someone coming from, you know, not Chicago. I hadn't lived here at all before I started. I think mm -hmm. um, what helps us build relationships is one that we are there every day 
and two, that we do all kinds of different activities with kids. So probably my strongest relationships are with the kids that, you know, I pull out of class, so I see them for a good hour each day, and then I might also see them before school in our before school programming, or I'll see them after school. So some of these kids I might be seeing two, three hours a day, every day, that helps us build really strong relationships. And it's just the time, we're there a lot. And the other thing is, we have a lot of fun. We do fun things together. It's not always just school, <laughs> not just tutoring, that, that helps. Well, thank you, Kala, for that question. Uh, that was a really good question. And also to speak to that, we, um, we at City Year really like to make sure that our, our teams, uh, once they leave a school, that there is another City Year team ready to replace them. Um, so continuing the City Year legacy at a school, but just with a different team. Um, okay, Alicia, so how do you, um, how do you see the, the attendance coordinator position fitting into City Year's uh, you know, mission to, or drive to keep students in school and on track to graduate? I think the attendance coordinator position is a, is a pretty big part of that. I mean, we're trying to keep kids in school. That's, that's mm -hmm. attendance. Um, it's one of our big three focuses in our ABC system. Okay. And I think it's, it's important. It's a new thing. And it does allow students who are sort of shoving attendance down their face in so many different ways. And, mm -hmm. But we're trying to keep it fun still at the same time. So I think it's a really important aspect. Okay. Um, so, Alicia, what are some of the, uh, you've kind of mentioned this already in terms of like the VIP lounge and the morning greeting, but mm -hmm. so what are um, some of the other attendance initiatives that you guys have implemented at Sherman so far? Can you go into further detail about some of yeah. them? Yeah, um, recently we just okay. had a movie party to recognize our students who have so far made it from the beginning of the year through February with perfect attendance and no, it's uh, sort of an ex exclusive event and we're trying to, it was really successful and we're trying to implement some more of those. So now we have a homeroom challenge in place where it's just a, you know, it's a group incentive now. So not only are you trying to come to school, but if you get all your kids in your homeroom to come to school too, mm -hmm. you might win a special party that will come and throw for you. That, that's great. I would, I would love to have that if I was a sixth or seventh grader. Well, I like come to school every day. <laughs> I, I, I do. I come to work every day. Um, okay. I, th I think we have a caller. Okay. Hello. Yes, Kyle, yeah. what's your question? Yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. Uh, how do I how do I join City Year? Okay, the question is how do you join City Year? Do you want to take this one, Kristen? I sure can. Um, well, we have we're accepting applications right now. Uh, City Year is for seventeen to twenty four year olds. Our only requirement is that you have to have graduated from high school. Uh, you can log on to www.cityyear.org slash Chicago and you can apply online. Um, the application process might take you maybe, a, depending on, on your speed, either, you know, an hour, it could take you up to a week if you, um, save it or come back to it. You'll need two, um, letters of recommendation and there is an essay component, but, uh, everything that you need to apply is found online. So, thank you. Thanks, Kala, for that question. Okay, so um, Alicia, what are some of the reactions from students in regards to these activities and programs like you mentioned? Reactions, um, they're, I would say overall they're pretty positive. In the beginning, kids were a little hesitant to um, latch on to us, especially some of the eighth graders. They sure. were, yeah, being the top of the school, they were like, who are these people? But I think now, overall it's pretty positive and we've had to and I think good proof of that is we've suspended our after school temporarily just to prepare for the ISET testing. And now that we're uh, about to have it restart, all the mm -hmm. kids are really excited and they want to know. And I think we've ingrained ourselves in many different aspects of the school, and that's gotten different kids excited in different ways. Yeah. And overall, a really positive effect. Yeah. And I mean, mm -hmm. if the kids are missing you when you're gone, or exactly. if the kids are missing the stuff oh, that's missing going the program, on, yeah, that's a good sign. That's a that's a great sign. That's yeah. a big deal. Um, so how have you um, seen, this is our second year mm -hmm. at Sherman, uh, how have you seen the school climate and overall uh, environment change since the Sherman team started their service back in October and um, especially within the 6th through 8th graders that mm -hmm. you primarily work with? I think, um, I do honestly see that some kids are more interested in school events so mm -hmm. there's a more of an attention that they're paying to what's going on um, and I think Sherman I see this year some of the teachers um, helping start more student organizations as well. So this year Sherman has a student um, leadership as alliance, so it's like mm -hmm. a student government that's mm -hmm. running programs too, and, and students themselves are starting to take a bigger hand in planning things and getting their ideas heard. So a little bit of city or culture bleeding into, into Sherman. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Lots, of, lots of leadership going on. Yeah. Um, 
So, Alicia, um, I guess what do you hope that your legacy will be in terms of your role as attendance coordinator? So next year someone will, someone on the new team will hopefully take over your role as attendance coordinator. Um, so what do you think, what do you hope that your legacy will be for that and what kind of legacy do you hope the Sherman team as a whole mm -hmm. leaves behind? I hope um, that my whole team and the attendance coordinator will carry this leg legacy of Whoa, creativity, um, keeping you know the core facets of school um, important, so mm -hmm. attendance, doing well, but still injecting Excuse some me. level of fun and entertainment and, yeah. like I said, creativity. I think if I had to characterize my whole team oh, and everything we've done, we're really creative about what we do, and I'd, I'd really like that to be something that lasts beyond us. Oh, we're just, uh, yeah. I can attest to that. You have a very creative team. So Alicia, what are your plans for life after City Year? <sighs> million dollar oh, question. Um, <laughs> in the long term, I hope to go to med school. Uh, for next year, I'm oh, considering whether or not I should come back to City Year. Yeah, uh, I really hope to. I love the program, um, but I'm torn whether or not I should mm -hmm. go go straight to grad school or not. But sure. I'll, I'll keep you updated. Yeah. Difficult decision. We hope you yeah. come back. <laughs> Be, um, well, Alicia, we're almost out of time. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna have we're gonna have to give you the boot. Oh, okay. I know. Um, so go ahead and pick a question out right, of the boot. Thank you very much. Answer it for us. I can't look right. What do we got? What do we got? Better it be a says, good one. What is your favorite city or memory? Ooh, that is a good one. That's a great question. Oh, there's so many. Um, okay, I'm gonna be a cop. I'm gonna cop out and be like, my favorite city or memory is just times where I'm eating with my team. But my team really loves to eat, and every mm -hmm. time we eat, all we do is talk about more food. <laughs> and then we talk about how we always talk about food when we're eating, and it mm -hmm. always just evolves into, into fun. So my team is my is my favorite memory of city. That's yeah. a good one. It's a big memory. Yeah. I've, it's a <laughs> solid one. I like it. Well, um, Alicia, thank you so much for sharing your city experience with us oh, this evening. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Um, before we leave you guys tonight, we want to spotlight this year blog, which yours truly writes. Oh, there it is. Um, so our blog is, if you go to cityyearchicago.wordpress.com, uh, you can check out a lot of written features about our service, profiles of our teams, uh, our school partnerships. We got videos, we got pictures. Uh, this week we have a, a montage of a service day that we did on Saturday. Lots of awesome pictures. Check it out. Um, you can also... Uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We are running out of time, so we want to thank you guys for tuning in to City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. Please tune in every Wednesday uh, right back here, KNTV Channel 21 at 6 p.m. for more City Year Chicago. Uh, have a wonderful night. Thanks for tuning in.